so in this video i'm going to show you how to make a simple realistic metallic logo in photoshop so let's get into the video so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a new project so we go to file and click on new set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080 you can decide to choose the resolution 300 or less when you are done just click on ok now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a solid color to it we are using solid colors because we would like to maybe change it sometime so i'm going to use the color 2d 2d and 2d so you can grab the color from here just click ok when you are done now the next thing that we're going to do is i'm going to the shapes and then i'm selecting this eclipse tool over here so just select the eclipse tool and make sure you hold shift and then you draw your circle so that it give you a very uniform circle like this one so you just have to press ctrl a to make a selection of this particular circle go here and align it horizontal and then vertical so you have your shape in the middle of the project pretty simple right now let's add the blending options to it so you right click and you go to blending options the first option that we're going to add to this one is called the gradient overlay so you click on the gradient overlay and then you click here to change or to make the changes to it so you can click here and it will display the available gradient overlays for you in actual fact the gradient that we're going to use is already saved here so i'm going to click on it but for the sake of this tutorial if you want to create or you if you want to customize your own you just have to come to this side i have this one over here i can click here for another one i can click here for different ones so you can click as many times as you want just to create your own logo or something like that yeah so since i have mine over here i'll just click on it and automatically it will fill the shape with it now the colors that i'm using are a4 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 and then the second one is f4 f1 f1 okay so let's click ok and then you click ok again now i'm going to change the star from here to angle right so you see that the style has been changed and i'm going to change my angle to 20 degrees i'm done with that i'll go ahead and add a bevel and emboss to it now the bevel and emboss i'll maintain the inner bevel over here but i'm going to increase the depth over here to about 900 and something you can do better with yours and i'm going to change the size to about eight or nine eight eight will do all right now i'm going to add some shadows to it so i'll click on the shadows and then i'll make the distance about 15 or 16 15 will do and then i'll make the size 50. now when i'm done i'll just click ok and then i have my realistic or yeah my realistic eclipse over here just click here to close all these things and then press ctrl j command j if you are using a mac and then right click and go to clear layer style so we are going to clear everything that we've done but we still have a thing that's why we made a duplicate of this one so by selecting this layer go to fill and decrease it to zero percent so that you can still have your your previous eclipse over here sorry now select the eclipse right click and go to blending options and then check the stroke increase it to about six and then click ok press ctrl t and then resize your eclipse so let me resize it small and then you can have something like this so you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make the necessary changes to it now we are almost done with it it is left with adding our test to it so you just have to go and select your test and then you write anything 
so i'm using the font microsoft's new tile you can download it online so you press ctrl t and then you can resize it and then you just have to position it in the middle and then resize it small like this and boom we are done with our logo so this is a very simple and a creative logo that you can use for your business for your works and other stuff now what's most interesting is that you can place any other option or any other objects maybe your logo is not just a test let's check something here i'll go to file and i'll go to place on my this one i have instagram a logo over here so i'll place it on my work and then i'll resize it simple right so i'll go ahead and right click and change this to rasterize layer right click again and go to blending options and then i'll just have to change the color to black and i have something simple over here so this is very beautiful right you can zoom in and you have something very nice over here so that is how to create a very realistic metallic logo in photoshop i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did why don't you share and comment like and subscribe to my channel thanks so much for taking time to watch this video i'll catch you in the next video bye